Have you ever had one of those what had happened was moments, you know, a moment of instant regret? Happened to me recently and it was on one of my favorite guitars. So what had happened was I had a lot of grime on my Les Paul Custom by the control cavity and you know the knobs down there and I decided it would be a good idea to put rubbing alcohol to clean up that thick layer of grime off and it was a terrible idea. I had no idea that nitrocellulose and rubbing alcohol make this big cloudy mess and it's not terrible but I know it's there and it, it, it hurts. It, it, it really hurts. But anyways I thought maybe I would experiment on the back of the guitar make a couple of more spots before I go to the front of the guitar and make it worse. But I, I got on the, the interwebs and searched for what people recommended to fix this issue and I came up with a couple of solutions so I went ahead and ordered them. Uh, got some Virtuoso products here and also this stuff they recommend it's for cars? Does it work on guitars? I mean they rhyme. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna check it out and see what happens. I hope something happens. Something is gonna happen but I hope it's something good. Alright, so here we have my Les Paul Custom, and I don't know if you'll be able to see from the video, but there's some permanent streaks here. It looks like you'd be able to polish them out, here and here mainly, and you you can't. They're, they're permanent. It's I'll, I'll post some pictures so you can see what I'm talking about. So, I'm going to try this Virtuoso... A uh, premium cleaner and possibly the polish we'll, we'll see how it goes and the instructions say you got to shake it well and then uh, a dime size amount for each six inch by six inch area to be clean rub in a circular motion from the center and then back towards the middle and then wipe it off and buff to a shine for maximum luster and protection follow with the polish which we may do uh, make sure you're using a clean cloth as a cleaner is designed to attack waxes and other buildups. You may experience a slight haze if you're using a cloth that has other polish residues on it. So I have a brand new cloth here and we're going to see what happens. Okay, so I did some a uh, good amount of cleaning with this cleaner and it's working pretty well. I feel like I'm going to have to come back at a later date and probably do it again. But most of the streaks are out of there. Now there are some scratches you'll probably see in the pictures I took at this stage. Those are actual scratches in the guitar, uh, pig scratches and whatnot. They're not the streaks that I was talking about before and you'll be able to see the streaks are pretty much gone if not all gone but I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick polish on those spots um, and it's pretty much the same process it's the exact same process actually so I'm gonna go ahead and do some of that and then I'll take some photos and you know, let you know what I think when I'm done all right what are my final thoughts I think this Virtuoso stuff worked amazingly. It got all the streaks out of my guitar and it left it with pretty much a mirror finish. The only problem is you can see all the scratches I have in it because it was such a great looking finish. I tried to put the polish on the rest of the guitar, the part that I didn't clean, and it didn't look near as good. It got hazy, so I would recommend you clean your whole guitar if you're, and polish your whole guitar if you're gonna use this stuff because it looks amazing better than any kind of polish I've ever tried to use before actually um, a couple of side notes you do want probably a clean polish cloth for each phase of, of this the cleaner and then a separate one for the polish I used the same one but it got really look look it got really look at look how nasty that is um, this stuff gets like powdery and chalky and just yellow and green and yeah so you Make sure you use a fresh polish cloth and you're probably going to want to throw it away. Like I didn't use the same spot of the polish cloth very many times, if maybe twice. 
Uh, beyond that, just it's amazing. Now at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that I might try this stuff. Uh, I didn't because I looked it up later and I found out it's abrasive and the Virtuoso stuff is not. So it was working so well that I decided I, I didn't even want to try this, not even on the back of the guitar or anything. So the moral of the story is don't spill alcohol on your guitar unless it's something like bourbon because then you got a cool war story on like a what happened was. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Um, my name's John Pollard. Take care. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. It's a good day.